Hi, Hi everyone. everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be showing you how to create a simple stage for your home or classroom. Vamos a estar explicando paso a paso la creación de este proyecto, lo fácil y sencillo que puede ser si sigues estos consejos. I wanted our stage to be four feet by two feet and about six inches high. Ainer came up with the following design which showed we would need one piece of plywood that would be 4 by 2 feet and 2 by 4s, two that were 20 inches long and two that were 46 inches long. We got all of our supplies from Home Depot since they're able to cut the wood down to size. We went with the more expensive plywood, the maple plywood, since we felt it would be sturdier for a base. We got the Cedar Premium Radius Edge 2x4, which would make the stage about 5 to 6 inches high. After the wood was cut, we got the rest of our supplies. We wound up getting 2 inch drywall screws, plastic drop cloths, 2 cans of matte black spray paint, wood glue, and sandpaper. We lined all the pieces up to start to make sure that they all fit the right way. Then we sanded the pieces of wood to make sure that they were all nice and smooth. You might notice some splintering, apparently that's normal when the wood is cut. You can just get some of the wood glue and use that to fix this. Also you can choose to put the side that's splintered on the side that won't be as visible to the class. We used the wood glue to glue together the different pieces, but then realized that it would be better off to have one of us hold together the pieces as the other one actually went ahead and drilled through them. We then just continued this process until the whole base was screwed together. Once the base was ready, we matched it up with the platform to make sure that there was one inch around each part. We went ahead and marked it with a pen on the inside of the platform. It was then time to flip the stage back over again and line up the platform on the top this time to get ready to drill in the screws to hold it all in place. Once again, Anar went around the stage, now on the top, marking off one inch from the outside to the inside, all the different points where he would be placing the screws. Prior to beginning drilling, he went around and double-checked once again that the platform was correctly lined up with the base, measuring one inch all around. 
Einar then added the wood glue to the base before putting the top platform on to help bolt it in place while drilling. Before he started drilling, he took one last look at the measurements to make sure that everything lined up okay. And then he began drilling the screws in at the different places that he had previously marked. He double checked the length of the screw to ensure that it would not collide with the other one that was already in place. I got a chance to try out the stage and it worked perfectly. Aynar added a few more screws just to be safe. We tried to smooth out some of the edges that had splintered a bit with the wood glue. We chose to spray paint the stage since we had a limited amount of time and we knew that it would dry faster that way. We used the matte black spray paint from Home Depot, and although we bought two cans, we only needed one to paint the whole stage. However, we did not paint the inside. Since bringing the stage to my classroom, I have decided that it would be best to add a sealant to protect it from scratches and dust. I'll also be adding a phrase with my Cricut. As of right now, I'm thinking of putting in English and in Spanish, your voice matters, tu voz importa. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Gracias por acompañarnos. Déjanos saber en los comentarios qué te pareció el video y si te fueron útiles estos consejos. Ciao. Bye bye.